everyone, and welcome back to my monthly story. Okay, so um, this month's story is going to be a birthday-themed story because I just had my birthday, and nothing really special happened this month. Like, there were really no holidays. Like, there was New Year's, which was, like, uh, exactly a month ago, and I'm not going to do a story on something that happened a month ago. And Martin Luther King Jr. Day, I mean, what would I use with that? Like, Olivia and Liam celebrating Martin Luther King Jr. Day? Like, that wouldn't be that interesting. And my birthday happened, like, last week. So, that's why I decided to make a birthday story. Um, but yeah. So, I, as you all know, I love writing, and it's, like my job to write and i just felt like it would be fun to entertain you all if i did like a story each month so that's why like i enjoy doing these things if you're wondering like nina why do you even take the time to write these stories they actually don't take long to write like they only take like two days to write if i'm focused it does not take long and i'm not like stressed out to do this i make sure that i have the the story done at, le at least one or two days before and I know you're like don't stress out about a deadline that you've created by yourself and I know I make sure that I'm always organized and prepared I make sure that I have the story written and ready to be read like two days before so that way I'm not like stressing out like two minutes before I'm supposed to send it like oh my gosh it's not sending and I make sure that everything is ready and yeah it's just ac it's actually a very easy process and as I told you in my Christmas story video, that they're the three things that I love. So I get to read it out loud, which I love reading out loud, and I get to read it, and I get to write this, and I also get to use my acting skills. Because as I'm writing this, I'm like imagining the characters. Like I'm like, okay, so Olivia's in the on her desk, and I imagine what she's doing. So like I'm kind of like making a movie kind of, and I can imagine how they're gonna act about it. Like that's part of the thing about writing. Like you can like imagine how they're gonna act. Um, but yeah, so this story isn't actually like a complicated plot. It's a simple plot. It's not as complicated as the last one. Man, that last one was hard to write. It took like, oh, like two weeks to write it. I put a lot of effort into that. So I'll only do like those big, like the Christmas story was like a big, hard story to write. Like I'll only do those like once in a while because it's just a little treat. Like, this one is sort of similar to my Halloween story. Like, it's not that big. It's kind of like a simple story that did not take long to write. I didn't use my whole mind on it. I was like, oh, this would be nice. The ending is actually really happy. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so happy for them. And it's actually like a really thoughtful story. It's a really nice story. Um, you might be like, ugh, this is boring. The last one was so much better. And, like, the, I, I know, but, like, the last one took a long time to write, and I don't really want to do that every month. Like, I just want to, like, have some time to, like, make a simple story also. I'm not saying that it's bad. I'm just saying that it's not, like, a huge, big plot story. Like, someone had a birthday party, and then, like, it got messed up. Like, it's not like that. It's just a simple, cool story. Um, one last thing that I wanted to say about the story is the scenes, or not the scenes, but like, I don't know really what to call them. Like, the scenes in the story are very quick. Like, the places in the story, like, they have, like, two lines, and then it just moves on to the next scene. Like, so you're probably like, wait, how did they just get from a baseball field to back at their house in two lines? It's like, there, I don't really know how to explain it, but like, there's two lines, and then they're, and then moves on to the next scene. It's like, a, like, each scene is, like, quick, I would say. Um, but yeah, so as I said, a couple things to know as you're listening to this. It's not a complicated story. It's the scenes move on very quickly. So if you're like, what, they only said two lines and they're already in a different scene? Like, yeah, that's my fault. I mean, I couldn't, like, think, like, really do, like, that much for that. And also, again, obviously, it's Olivia and Liam. And it's obviously their 12th birthday. Um... Yeah, so it's obviously their birthday, and because if you hadn't noticed, like in the beginning of every story, I've been saying 11-year-olds, Olivia and Liam. So now, in my future stories, like my Valentine's Day story, it's going to be um, just 12-year-olds, Olivia and Liam.
because they're 12 that they're going to turn 12. And if you're wondering why I did that little transition, I am so sorry. That was my fault. I had accidentally set an alarm, and then that stopped the video. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I barely have any time because I'm about to go out to get my... We're actually Me and my mom are actually trying chili tonight. And we're like about to leave in like 20 minutes. So I was like, I am definitely not remaking this. So I'm just going to use iMovie to put the two clips together. You know, it's easier. That's, that's the good thing about iMovie. Like, whenever the video accidentally stops, you can just make it start a video from where you left off, and then you can just put the two videos together. So, yeah, if you're wondering why I did that little transition, then that's why. Okay, but other than that, I am ready to start this thing off. Okay, so be, be sure to keep note of the things that I told you. All right, so the thoughtful birthday present. So, can you guess what the thoughtful birthday present is going to be? Written by Nina Francis Scone, pictures by Nina Francis Scone, even though there's only one picture, and created by Nina Francis Scone. Let's start. <clears throat> Chapter 1. Eleven-year-old Olivia Johnson was sitting inside class. It was around 2.45 p.m. on Friday, January 25th, 2024, in San Francisco, California. It was the day before Olivia and Liam's 12th birthday. Liam was in English class and Olivia was in social studies class. Olivia was sitting in the front row of the classroom tapping her pencil on her desk. They had just finished their quiz on the state capitals. Man, that was a hard test, said Olivia to her best friend Emma. I've decided to give everyone a project to do over the weekend, said Mrs. Smith, the social studies teacher. I want you to pick a member of your family and tell us why they're so special, Mrs. Smith added. You can draw pictures, write a story, whatever you like, she said. Then the rest of the class will learn about them, and you might learn something about them too. Any questions, said Mrs. Smith. A girl named Madeline raised her hand. My dog's a special member of my family. Do dogs count? asked Madeline. One of Olivia's friends named Emma raised her hand. I once saw a horse at a circus. That could count, said Emma. No dogs or horses, said Mrs. Smith. What about cats? asked another girl. No dogs, cats, horses, turtles, frogs, or fish, said Mrs. Smith. Only moms, dads, sisters, brothers, or other people in your family, she said. Just then, the school bell rang. Everyone grabbed their backpacks and rushed out the door. They all rushed outside and went straight to the buses. Olivia and Emma hopped on their bus. I'm going to do my project on my baby sister, said Emma as she sat down in, in her bu usual bus, bus seat. She makes me laugh so much my stomach hurts, Emma added as Olivia sat down next to her. I think I'll do mine on my mom, Olivia said. She makes the best quotes, Olivia added. Are you kidding me, Olivia? Everyone does their, is going to do their project from their mom. You should do something a little bit more creative. Just then, Liam and his best friend Noah walked on the bus. Hey, Liam, do you want to go see the new Minions movie tomorrow? asked Noah. I thought you were coming to my 12th birthday party, Liam said. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot, Noah replied. Olivia and Liam's actual birthday was on Monday, but they were having a couple of friends over to celebrate their birthday on Saturday. That's it, a movie, Olivia said as she eavesdropped in Liam and Noah's conversation. Huh? You like minions? asked Emma. No, silly. I mean for my project, Olivia said. I mean, Mrs. Smith said it can be anything that we like, she added. Maybe I can use my dad's video camera and make a movie about him making furniture and fixing things, she added. That's a little bit cheesy. Maybe you could do a movie about Liam, Emma suggested. What's so special about him? He's just a brother, Olivia said dramatically. What could I say about him? Olivia asked. Except that he likes minions, of course, Olivia joked. Emma and Olivia burst out laughing. Chapter 2. It was now about 3 o'clock p.m. Olivia and Liam stepped off the bus, running up their front door steps. Meanwhile, Father was trying to wrap up a basketball for Liam's birthday present, and even though he didn't know that it was almost impossible to wrap up a ball. I found some tape, Mother said as she entered the kitchen. Ah, Father said as the basketball ran away. How's it coming, Mother asked. 
Basketballs were not made to be gift wrapped, said father as he plopped the basketball down. Father took the tape from mother. It keeps go running away, father said. But I've got it now, father said excitedly just before the basketball ran away again. Father went chasing after it. I'm home, exclaimed Olivia as she flew through the kitchen door. Uh-oh, father said as he hid the basketball behind his back. No peeking, father said. Don't worry, father, it's just me, Olivia said. Phew, good, father said. I don't want your brother to see his present before it's wrapped, he added. By that time, I'll have the twins' birthday cake baked, iced, and candled, mother said dramatically. Well, the race is on. Let's see if you can bake your cake faster or I can wrap this basketball first, father exclaimed as the basketball ran away a third time. Mother, I have to do a project for school about a member of my family, Olivia said. I was thinking about making a movie about your father, she said. A movie? That sounds fun. But we are sort of busy, father said as he tried, but fa mother said. There's a lot to do before your birthday party tomorrow, mother said as she got the ingredients ready to bake the cake. Hey, why don't you make a movie about your brother, mother suggested. Liam? asked Olivia. Did somebody call me? asked Liam as he entered the kitchen. Hey, no peeking, father exclaimed. Oh man, father said. Or all man, Liam said. I'm going to Noah's house. See you later, Liam said as he put his helmet on and got on his skateboard. No skateboarding in the house, exclaimed Mother. And be home for dinner, she added. Okay, Liam replied as he shut the door. There's nothing special about him. He's just my brother, Olivia said to Mother. You might be surprised, Mother said. Olivia looked out the window in a sigh and watched as Liam skated away. Chapter 3 it was now about 4.45 p.m. Olivia had decided that she was going to try to make a movie about Liam. She stood in front of her mirror in her room trying to hold the video camera. <sighs> this is a movie about my brother, Olivia said. Boring, she said dramatically. Oops, I forgot to turn the video camera on, she exclaimed. Now what does this button do? She asked herself as she turned the camera on. Neat! This isn't so hard, she exclaimed. Okay, where are you, Sparky? said Olivia. Sparky was Olivia and Liam's dog. Too bad I can't do my project on you. Pets are much more interesting than boring brothers, she added. Sparky jumped up on Olivia and turned off the camera. Sparky, no! What are you doing? The camera just got turned off, Olivia said. Stop, she said as Sparky spit all over the camera. Ew, there's dog spit all over this camera. Father is not going to be happy, she exclaimed. Olivia wiped off the camera with a tissue as she closed her eyes to not see the disgustingness. Okay, here goes. <sighs> Let me try this again. This is Liam's dog, Olivia began. Well, she's my dog too, but Liam trained him the most, she added. Roll over, Sparky, Olivia said again as Sparky rolled over. Now sit. She said as Sparky sat down. He's a lot like Liam, she said. Anyway, this is his room and my room, and these are his toys and... Oh yeah, he likes minions, Olivia exclaimed. And also, he cares about school, so he has an organized desk that he uses to do his homework, she said as she pointed to his desk with the camera. Oh, this is not going to be easy, she said as the camera shut off again. Chapter 4 Olivia ran outside with the camera and completely ran after Liam as she, as she saw him riding on his skateboard. She turned the camera on. Me and Liam are going to be 12 years old on Saturday, she began. Liam likes to ride a skateboard, she added. Watch out, Liam exclaimed as he zoomed past, Oliv past Olivia. Man, he's, a pr he's pretty good at skateboarding, Olivia said dramatically as she ran after Liam. What do you mean I'm good? I almost crashed, he said. What are you doing with father's camera? Liam asked. I'm making a movie about you, she exclaimed. Me? asked Liam. It's for my school project, Olivia replied. Is that okay? Well, sure, I guess, he replied. But only because it's for school, Liam added. So, uh, what do you want me to do for the movie? he asked. 
Hmm, I don't know, she said. Do something unique, or do one of your special talents, she said. Liam touched his nose with his tongue and did funny hand motions. Liam started dying in laughter. My brother likes to make me laugh, she said. Liam ran away on his skateboard when Olivia wasn't looking. Hey, where are you going? exclaimed Olivia. You can take me, but you gotta keep up, he exclaimed. Olivia ran after Liam and followed him to the soccer field. Olivia sat down on the bench and watched him and his best friend Noah play soccer. She set the video camera down beside her and sighed. After watching them play for about 15 minutes, Olivia picked up the camera and started filming again, not knowing that it wasn't on. My brother likes to play video games and make model airplanes out of balsa wood and... Oh wait, come on, the camera isn't on, she said. Olivia turned on the camera. I think that my brother loves sports more than anything else in the world, she began. He shoots, he scores! Liam wins the game, Liam exclaimed as he scored a goal. I never thought about it before, but he's really good at sports. I mean, really good, Olivia said. He never brags about it either, she said. He's good, but he's not perfect at all times, she said as she saw as Noah beat Liam. A few minutes later, Liam and Noah started playing baseball. Of course, Olivia had to turn on the camera to get how good Liam is at baseball. Liam can do lots of things, more things than I thought, Olivia said. And I bet more things than a lot of other brothers can do, she said. Liam hit a home run and wiped off a handful of sweat on his forehead. Oh, man, I'm getting tired of this, Liam said. Well, I have to go. I'm pretty sure that dinner's ready, Noah said. After that, Olivia and Liam walked home. Chapter 5. It was now around 5 o'clock p.m. Liam was sitting on the front porch playing with the yo-yo. Olivia was standing in front of him, sighing. Just then, Olivia's best friend, Emma, walked by. Hi, Olivia, Emma exclaimed. Looks like you're doing your project about Liam after all, she said. Did you find anything special about him, Emma asked. Maybe a few things, Olivia replied. Like what, asked Emma. You'll have to wait to see my movie, Olivia said. Aw, Emma said as she walked away in a sigh. About 20 minutes later, Liam was sitting on the kitchen table eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for dinner. And of course, Olivia had to get the camera. My brother's favorite sandwich is peanut butter and jelly, Olivia began. And his favorite TV show is Stranger Things, she added. He likes having fun, but he knows that school is important too, Olivia said as she caught Liam laughing after the peanut butter spilled on the floor. After dinner, of course, Liam wanted to go and play more sports because sports is his life. Liam put his plate in the sink and grabbed the dusty old muddy basketball that he had. He sure was in for a new one. He dribbled it down the driveway and shot a foul shot into his basketball hoop that he had on the driveway. Olivia snapped a photo of Liam having the time of his life playing his favorite sport. Just then, the school bullies, Grayson, Brady, and Colton, came strolling down along the sidewalk. Grayson bumped into Olivia on purpose. Hey, why don't you watch where you're going, exclaimed Grayson, as even though he knew that he that he bumped into Olivia on purpose. Hey, why don't, wait, sorry, Grayson, she exclaimed. Do I have a sign on my back that says bum me or something, Grayson joked. I think you're going to have to pay for that for the inconvenience, he said. Grayson yanked the ponytail out of Olivia's hair and threw the, her favorite ribbon that she had in her hair in the tree. Hey, give it back, shouted Olivia. Go get it. Asked, exclaimed Liam. Huh? Asked Grayson. You heard me, Grayson. Go get Olivia's favorite ribbon. What if I don't? Asked Grayson. Please and thank you, Liam exclaimed. Well, as long as you're being polite about it, Grayson said. Grayson went by the tree and Brady and Colton lifted him up. Boost, boost, Grayson said. He threw down the ribbon. You didn't think I could climb up here, did you? Asked Grayson. Well, I showed ya, he said. Liam went back to playing basketball. Liam, wait, said Olivia. She caught up to Liam. I just wanted you to know, you're my hero, Olivia said as she gave Liam a big hug. Cut, that's
that's a wrap, said Brady as he was secretly taping them. Chapter 6. It was now around 7 o'clock p.m. Liam was at Noah's house. Mother was putting together the birthday cake. Father was still trying to wrap the basketball. And Olivia was nowhere to be seen. That looks really yummy, Father said as he looked at the cake. And it's also ready for the party, Mother replied as she put the cake in the fridge. How's the wrapping going, Mother asked. I've used four rolls of paper and two rolls of tape and... I admit defeat, Father said as he sighed. Mother gave him a bag to put the basketball in. Father made that I am so dumb face at Mother. You need a name tag, don't forget, Mother said. I can do that, said Father. Just then, Mother and Father heard something coming from the living room. They walked over to see what it was. Olivia was sitting on the couch smiling as she was watching the movie that she made. And so Mrs. Smith was right. I learned all kinds of things about my brother that I didn't know before, Olivia said in the movie. He is pretty special. I also found out how much I really care and how much I love him, she said. He's the best brother anyone could ever have in the whole wide world. He's my hero, she said. That was wonderful, dear, Mother said as she was wiping away happy tears. Good job, said Father. From now on, you shoot the whole movies, he said. Thanks, but I was so busy making it that I didn't get Liam a birthday gift, said Olivia sadly. Well, it's not like he got me a gift either, she, she thought. Unless, this could be his gift, Olivia said. That's a wonderful idea, said Mother. Olivia went into the wrapping room and went to get some wrapping paper and started wrapping up the movie. DVD. Chapter 7. It was the next day, Saturday, January 26th, around 1 o'clock p.m. Olivia and Liam were currently having their 12th birthday party. They were in their living room opening up birthday presents. There had been tons of present bags and wrappers lying on the ground. Olivia had just finished opening up all of her birthday presents, and now it was time for Liam to open his. He grabbed the bag that had the basketball in it. Wow, a new basketball! Just what I needed, Liam exclaimed. Nice wrapping job, Father, he said as he read the name tag. Father gave him a thumbs up as he took a picture of him with the camera. Happy birthday, Liam, Olivia said as she handed him the present. I bet I know what this is. My favorite movie of all time, Minions, Liam said. <laughs> nope, replied Olivia. Is it Home Alone, he asked. It's called My Hero. The birthday boy, Olivia said. Why don't we watch it, suggested Mother. Gee, I don't really know if... Show it, show it, show it, shouted all of the kids at the birthday party. Liam sighed because he did, really didn't want to watch it. Olivia put the movie inside the player and they watched the whole thing. He's the best brother anyone could ever have in the whole wide world. He's my hero, Olivia said in the movie as it ended. Everyone started clapping. That was great, Olivia. Thanks, said Liam as he gave her a big hug. Showing someone how you feel about them can be the greatest gift of all, Mother said. Plus, you don't have to wrap it, Father said. Olivia snatched the movie out of the player. You're taking my present back after all that? Asked Liam dramatically. Just for a little bit, I have to take it to class to show Mrs. Smith for my project, she added. Well, I don't know what kind of grade you're going to get from her, but from me, you get an A+, plus, Liam said. Everyone clapped and finished opening presents. They turned out to have the best birthday party in history. The end. Well, I hope that, well, that was my birthday story, and I hope that you enjoyed it. And I told you that it wasn't going to be like a super big story. It's kind of just like a simple little story. And I know that it wasn't really that good. Like, it kind of wasn't, it hasn't been as good as my other stories. I'll say that. But it was, it, it didn't take long to make, and it was simple. And, yeah, so I put a lot of effort into it. I hope you know that. And I hope you didn't just skip through it because you're like, oh, my gosh, this is so boring. And I know my mom when she, um doesn't like my story she turns up the volume faster so that's what I can do so I'm gonna go spy on my own if she turns up the volume faster 
She does not like my story. Okay, but I hope you actually watched the whole thing. Because if you didn't, you don't you have no idea how much effort I put into this. So even though it wasn't that good, it I still put a lot of effort into it. Well, the only reason that I didn't put a lot of effort into it was because like I started like two days ago and I actually just finished yesterday. And I made sure that I had it done a day before, but yeah, so it only took one day to make, but I don't really like to do, like, those big stories each month. Like, I know it wasn't, like, you're probably, oh my gosh, what am I saying? Um, but yeah, so next month I'm probably gonna have a Valentine's Day story, um, which I will try to make it, like, a, like, my Christmas story was, like, more of, like, a grown-up and kid-friendly story which I liked making that, but it wasn't easy to make. I didn't really enjoy making it, but I enjoyed reading it and acting, and I enjoyed for everyone watching it. For this one, I actually really enjoyed making this, but the result of it, maybe people won't like it as much as my past stories, which is okay. You don't have to like it. Um, but I, but don't make that stop you from watching my future stories that I'll be doing until I'm 100, um, and Grandpa will be 100, and he will still be watching my stories. And I'll be, how old? Like, 35? And I, I will make stories for all the generations yet to come. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my birthday story. And that's it for today. Peace out.